and he has yet to miss anything this year. That one's blocked. The Bears have it. The Bears are going to get a touchdown out of this. Now they're ruling. Let's see what they rule in the end zone. There's a penalty marker down. I, I think that ball was knocked out before he crossed the goal line, it looked, at least from here, way back at midfield where we're sitting in the booth. He relaxed too much before he crossed the goal line. He did slow down, did he not? And it wasn't signaled a touchdown. Nobody on the field signaled it a touchdown. So they can call it an illegal bat out of the back of the end zone. Six. All right, well, this is fair enough. Now, if you know anything about the Bears, they've got four winnable games to start the season, so it would make sense they go across the pond, play the Oakland Raiders right before the bye week and take a loss. I could see that happening, but they would come back, beat the Saints. The Chargers are a frisky team, especially when nobody expects them to do well, and I know a lot of people expecting them to go to Chicago to not play well. This seems like a game the Chargers could, of course, come up and win. The Packers on the road week 15. Listen, I got to be a realistic fan here. I'm a fan, but I'm also realistic. I could see that happening, but I do believe that they get wins over the Saints. They get this win over the Rams. They get the win right here in week one. There is no way after what happened last season, there is no way that they're going to lose this game. I guarantee it. And you know what? You look at that 13 and 3 record. That is the number one seed in the NFC Club Dub, everybody! Kick all the way! Hits the crossbar and comes short. And that's how this game will come to an end. Maybe.